Damn. <laughs> Motherfucker. Thank y'all. Uh, that hasn't happened in a hot minute. But this new headset doesn't have as good of a uh, pass-through as um, my last headset. And so my last headset, I could tell whenever I was muted. Versus with this one, I can't tell. Because uh, there's no, there's no pass-through. Basically where I hear myself. So anyways... Starting over, um, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Wrong Side Simulations, bringing the best content for the wrong side of the airplane, the right seat, and as always, my name is Blake, and I am a real-world flight dispatcher, and I'm bringing a little more context to your flight sim viewing experience, mm -hmm. and today, we are going to be flying from Orlando up to Myrtle, and then joining the AR routes from uh, Myrtle down to Fort Lauderdale. Purpose of today's stream, one, I didn't feel like swapping out my flight controls for all the Boeing shit. Uh, therefore, we're sticking with the Airbus. And secondly, we have a lot of weather passing through Orlando right now. Uh, I live in Orlando, so this is what's happening at my house. <laughs> um, got some pretty high winds, a lot of uh, heavy to extreme precip. So the uh, plan for today is, being that any builds has a uh, uh, is you know, part of Microsoft, uh, there is a form of weather radar in the AnyBuilds A320neo. Now, this is a beta uh, of the airplane, so obviously uh, not everything is you know final release. Um, but yeah, we're going to use the weather radar, take off, and try to pick our way through as much of this line of weather as possible. And we'll continue up north up to Myrtle Beach. And then from Myrtle, we'll uh, turn around, and we're going to... Like I said, join the AR routes, which are uh, these airways here. And uh, we'll pick our way through that bit of weather. And then come down to Fort Lickerdale. So that's the plan for today. But as always, first things first, huge shout out to all of the channel members. And that's going to be Pilot Porter, Dustin D. Champ, Callie Simmer, Ford Contour, Hill, Billy Gypsy, Zach Hamilton, Bravo, Charlie Gavin, Chapman, Zolt, Skyfall, Jose, Andrew something, Brett Smith, Shadow Dark, Image Seeker, Zach Winnick, Marco, VR Sim Pilot, J. Foot, Drew, Stone, Big Ralph, Nabil, Abdelio, who is on his way to Orlando today. Hopefully he makes it uh, safely into Orlando without having too much of a problem with this weather. Uh, we got Rev, Cold Bay, Captain Shack, uh, Kieran, Josh, Sioux Falls, AJJ, Zado Flies, Buckeye Fly, Plain Nuts, K 
Kieran Anderson, Cody Pelotes, 226 Enforcement, Captain Nate, uh, Tyler Rocks, Gold Engine, CST Gaming, Joe SDC, Captain Geo, Andy Ivy, J Queen, Kivo G, uh, Dancing Parrot, <clears throat> Riney Sepper, Shadow, JR3000, and my man, Wes. So guys, thank y'all so much for the continued support here on the Wrong Side channel. Greatly appreciate you guys. Love y'all very much. And now, over to the chat. <laughs> and I'm not muted this time. Uh, Pro Dutch Gamer is back in the house. Joined us last night. What's going on, man? Hope everything's going well up there in the Anchorage area. And uh, I'm going to butcher the shit out of this name. Uh, Arca... Shit. Can I, can I just call you Ark? I'm going to call you Ark. Um, but anyways, thank you for pointing out that I was muted. <laughs> uh, Pro, Dutch, Pro Dutch Gamer said, Amsterdam, Charles de Gaulle, I don't know what MUC is. Uh, Munich, maybe, is what I'm interested in next stream. Um, yeah, we might do some Europe flying sometime. I'm not the biggest uh, Europe connoisseur. Um, not a fan of some of the procedures and the things that they do out there. Kind of annoys the shit out of me. Because some of it's, um, I don't know, less safe and retarded, in my opinion. Um, but I need to, I need to do some of it. I know some folks like to see that shit. So uh, at some point, we'll do some flying in Europe. I did recently fly. I think it was like Dublin to London City last week. It was a good time. I didn't fly any Vatsim though. I don't want to put up with ATCs, Europe's uh, ATC bullshit. Um, you have to repeat. Karen, what's going on, man? Great to see you, dude. Welcome, welcome. I'll be back later. Have to finish up some work. Sounds like a plan. We'll see you back then. All right, guys. <clears throat> We're going to get to it on this one. Uh, let's see. Let's, see. let's power up the airplane first. Shut the damn music up. Battery one. Battery two, ground power, and we'll go crew supply, ground control, CVR test, get that over on the captain's side, hey there's one, two, and three, nav logo lights on, no smoking lights on, mercy exit lights armed, a little bit of AC up in this thing. We want flight directors, constraints, and VORs on. We'll go ahead and do both. Uh, All that looks good. Let's get our payload and whatnot on board. Zero feet away, one two zero point one. Make sure that checks. It does. And then fuel is fourteen two, which also checks. <coughs> All right, start getting the airplane boarded up. And while that's going on, as always from the wrong side channel, we like to go through the OFP as pilots would do in real life. Make sure that everything cross checks. Marco, my man, what's going on, dude? All right, so today we are Spirit Wings 1004. We are operating tail November 987, November Kilo on the 11th of April. We're departing out of Orlando, headed up to Myrtle. Due to be out at 1900 Zulu, on at 2027 Zulu. We are operating at 320 Neo type aircraft. We are on release ID number two with Andrew Divers as our dispatcher today. No MELs, no CDLs. Total distance on the flight, 397 nautical miles with an average tailwind of 64 knots, burning $158 for every 1,000 pounds of gas. We're going to be cruising at CI-55, flight level 350. Up there's going to be minus 46 on the temp. Triple pause is 52,500. 
Uh, checking our weights here, 0 weight 120.1 out of 141.7. Looks good. Takeoff weight looks good. Landing weight looks good as well. We're departing off from a 17, arriving 18. It's going to be one hour from wheels up to wheels down, burning roughly 5,000 pounds of gas. We've got our 45 minute reserve. Uh, we are carrying an alternate of. Uh, why did it do that? Put it in Charlotte. I guess it swapped it out. Uh, anyways, that's Columbia. Um, let's see. We've got. 25 minutes on a contingency fuel, which gives us a total min required takeoff of 12.9. And then we got another 10 minutes of basic extra fuel. Taxi fuel, 500. And that gives us a ramp fuel of 14.2 and a rim F of 8.7. Now to figure out our bingo fuel. Uh, so if we get rid of all the fuel, we burn that in the hold. So we call that, let's just call it 6.0. going to be our bingo fuel. We do have some pretty gnarly weather. Actually, more, more or less winds up in uh, Myrtle. So uh, who knows, maybe we end up at our alternate. Uh, alternate is 144 nautical miles, 42 minutes in route, and then roughly 3,000 on the fuel. Route for today. Uh, we're going to be on the Faith 3 de uh, departure. VAP transition Q87 J Ross direct Charleston. We want to make sure that the Faith 3 is compatible with runway 17, right? We're taking off of. Looks like it is. Uh, to read our notes. Uh, transition altitude is 18,000 feet. RNAV 1 or DME, DME, IRU or GPS. Required radar required jet aircraft only. All aircraft if unable to accept HC climb rates, advise HC prior taxi. See additional requirements. Da, 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 don't care. Sounds good. Coming off of runway 17 right, top altitude is 7,000 feet. And then we don't have a star. Addresses that is good. Get connected to that sound. Sweet. <clears throat> oh, so we actually we got a uh, ATC on. Nice. So on the clearance, let's see. Cleared Faith 3 departure via transition climb via SID. Five zero one zero minutes. Part is twenty two eight. Spec seventeen right. Cool. Thirty four zero seven on the squawk. And then the frequency is going to be eighteen forty five. All right, so at our ETA, 2027. Ooh, nasty. 
I don't foresee this happening. It looked like the weather had already passed. But uh, at our ETA, looking at one set of mile, rain thunderstorms broken at 800 on the CBs. And then in the main line, 170 at 20 gusts and 32, 6 statue miles, light rain showers, descending thunderstorms broken at 1,000 CBs, wind shift 180 to 55 knots. That ought to be fun. If we were to divert, in Columbia we're looking at uh, winds 210 at 20 gusts and 30, 6 statue miles, scattered at 35 and scattered at 12. <coughs> I agree. Although it probably change my alternate one route. Alright, let's program the airplane. So our data is or our nav data is current. Init. We are spirit wings. 004. Cost index 55. Thirty-five thousand on the cruise with a temperature of minus forty-six. Triple pause, we're looking at fifty-two thousand five hundred feet. On the flight plan. Parting off of run 17 right on the Faith 3 departure, the app transition, insert there. The Discon, then Buffy, we'll check that out here shortly. The app, join those up. Myrtle, arrival, ILS runway 18. No stars, no transitions, approach via. Giving us CRE and PD. Definitely don't want grandstand or CRE. Uh, we'll take PD. Insert that. Give us that hold. We'll leave that for now. <coughs> All right, now we want to check, make sure that every waypoint is in there. Starting with Cape. And then Buffy, Faith, Madbog, Keeney, Feeman, Viap, Sussy Q, Talon, J. Ross, Charleston, and then the approach. Perfect. Secondary for our engine fail. KMCO. KMCO. Come on now. I think it. I think I remember it not taking it last time. There it goes. And basically just replicating everything that we did before. Wonder why there's no uh, ground temp. Alright, secondary flight plan, Orlando, departure, 17 left, none, insert, if we were to come back, we'd come back to only 17 right, but with the weather, we might have to consider uh, going north or going south to somewhere else, with the uh, weather that's in the area. Cool, that'll work. Radnav, Hartoon, ORL. <coughs> uh, 
Um, and then back to init, gonna win data uplink. And then we're gonna do our uh, init B page. All right, so zero fuel weights planned at 120.1. That's what we got here. Perfect with a zero fuel weight CG of 23.7. Cool. Block fuel 14.2. Taxi fuel got 500. This is where any build pisses me off every time. You can't zero out the route reserve. Yeah, it's horse shit. All right, alternate fuel. Two point, we'll call it 3,000. <coughs> then reserve. Call it uh, 43 minutes since it's put using fuel in the route reserve. Oh my god, dude. Come on, any builds, get your fucking shit together. This is horse shit. Alright, wind. Even though it's not taking our 45 minutes. Let's see, if we did the quantity, which it's already close on the quantity, but 2.5. Sure, shit ain't 15 minutes. 2.9 is 45 minutes. I won't even take it. Uh, let's see. It's gonna be a tailwind of 64 knots. We'll come back to perf. Prog page, KMCO. One seven right in the event that we had to come back. Sweet. All right, initial climb is going to be up to seven thousand. That's it. Let's go start getting the uh, APU fired up. And we'll run our perf while we're doing that. Definitely wet. Orlando weather. All right, current weather. Uh, winds are two, 215 gusts and 276 statute miles, light rain, thunderstorms, 1500 broken at 37 CB. Overcast 48. Uh, temperatures 26, dew point 23, altimeters 2978. Lightning distance south and west. Uh, got thunderstorms, occasional lightning, in cloud, cloud of ground, southeast, southwest, thunderstorms, southeast, southwest, moving northeast. Yeah. Sounds about right. Winds 200 at 15. Outside air temperature, 26. Altimeter. 2978. Take off weight. 133 8. Where's the decimal? Let's 
go. Flaps two. Air conditioning on. Any ice off. Force toga. Yes. Due to possible wind shear with the weather in the area. Calculate. Normally length. Max weight. Yep. Makes sense. All right. So we no flex. Um, perf. So we flaps two up. 0.5. They flex temp, no flex. B speeds 38, 51, 54. And we're taking off to the south. We're not taking off towards uh, Orlando Executive, so we don't have to worry about. Um, Remaining in toga and like uh, acceleration climb altitudes at higher altitude. All right, so I'm gonna do a set. Eighteen forty-five is gonna be the taxi. Damn, this this is terribly slow. Uh, Alright, so set, set. And then our uh, squats will be 3407. Cool. Let me get the bleed. Disconnect ground power. Get our departure ATIS. <clears throat> Information Kilo. And let's see. 1853. Shit. Is this METAR we just put in and ran everything off of old? No. Yeah, son of a bitch. Alright, we've got to redo some shit. Alright, new METAR wins 210 at 8, gusting 22. Outside air temperature is 24 now. Altimeter two nine seven eight thirty eight fifty one four. Okay, nothing's changed. I wonder if we include the gusts. Still nothing. Perfect. Bro, it's changed again, motherfucker. Uh, let's see, 240 at 1, 2. 4, 2, 9, 8, 1. Got kilo out. <clears throat> Alrighty, I think we're just about ready. Caught up in the chat real quick. It's gonna be a fun little departure. 
Shaq, my man, what's going on, dude? Great to see you. Welcome, welcome. About to try to put this bird down in Nantucket. Sounds like a plan. Josh, what's going on, dude? Great to see you, man. Pro Dutch is back. Welcome back. Great to see you, dude. Another Black Hawk flying over my house. What, uh, what does that mean? J Queen, my flight to Key West just picked its way through. Sounds good, because we're about to be doing the same thing. I think there's a Phoenix parked at the gate next door. Only take a few minutes to move over. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I'm going to eat the bullshit of this airplane. <laughs> Dancing Parrot, great to see you, dude. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Kelly, hey ya! Great to see you, darling. D chip is in the house. All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna be expecting a new departure ATIS. So far, Kilo is current. Um, let's uh, let's brief up the departure real quick, and then we'll get going. Alrighty, so it's going to be a right seat takeoff. Aircraft type is a 320 for strike avoidance. We have no MELs, no CDLs. It's going to be a two-inch taxi. Our taxi route. We're going to go ahead and over to runway 17. We can expect to push out nose left um, and probably take Bravo 5 to Charlie and then Juliet all the way down and around to Golf Hotel 1, runway 17 right. Um, weather is a factor, so we're going to be taking off in uh, no toga, or correction, no flex. Terrain's not a factor. We've got no hot spots, no runways to cross. Emergency procedures before V1. It will be my decision to reject complete stops, set the parking brake, call the flight center stations, to analyze the situation, call for any income actions, or emergency evacuation check was required. Emergency procedures after 80 knots in high speed regime. We're only going to abort for four reasons engine fire, engine fail, low level wind shear, anything that makes it like the aircraft is unsafe for takeoff. Um, after V1, if we pop an engine, the current plan is to um, we'll reach our acceleration climb altitude, uh, speed up, clean up, come back to runway 17 right, correction, 17 left. Um, but we might have to. We'll have to look at the weather once we're up there and determine whether we're going to, if we can make it back into Orlando, we might have to go Melbourne or maybe Daytona, uh, depending on, you know, what the weather's doing. Uh, but if we do have to come back, we'll be under max landing weight. Uh, if all goes as planned, we're going to fly the Faith 3 departure with the top altitude of 7,000 feet, and we're squawking uh, 3407. I'm going to kill the live traffic since we have... That to him online. Okay. Um, there we go, Cape. And then we'll rejoin with. Is that the Buffy or Faith? Buffy. So I thought. Uh, sweet. Alrighty, cockpit prep. Main is logging tails, onboard and check. Gear pins, covers are removed. Seatbelt signs are on. Aiders are in nav. Fuel. We need uh, 14.2. We got 14.1, which is fine because the APU's been burning some of that fuel. Altimeter is 2981 is set. EFB's checked. Let's see if we got a new ATIS. Info Kilo is still current. 18 left, 18 right, 17 right. Clearance, push back and start up pilot discretion. All right, sweet. Alrighty, let's uh, get, make sure we get everything closed up.
<laughs> All right. Four star checklist. Windows, doors, and slides. Close and arm. Beacons on. Thrust levers are in idle. Parking brakes on. Transponder is in auto. The four star checklist is complete. That's pair. No, I didn't. I said hey to you whenever I, I saw your message. It took me a minute to see the message, but I, I did say hey. I ain't forget you, man. All right, we were supposed to be out of here at 1900. <laughs> it's 1909. But that's what happens when we do things realistically in a faster time span than it's allotted in real life. What's these motherfuckers doing? They're waiting to pull shit. Ground power is disconnected. Damn, we got a whole nother one. The weather's changing faster than we can keep up with. Winds 250 at 10, three uh, quarter statue mile. Three quarter mile, rather. Uh, heavy rain thunderstorms missed, scattered at 1200, broken at 4100 CBs, overcast 75, 24, 23, 2980. Uh, let's see, lightning distant east and southwest, occasional lightning and cloud, cloud of ground, all quadrants, thunderstorms, all quadrants moving northeast. Good times. Myrtle's going to be windy. Alright, brakes release, clear push, tail to the right. For more than 25 PSI on the bleed. God, sounds in this airplane are not the best. Brick set, clear off, hit set, clear to disconnect. We're looking for the pin on the right. I'll stay dry out there. Uh, got any hope we don't have any spots, do we?
There we go. Now we got information in Lima. 1904. Okay, that's that is the latest. Columbia Sid, three five zero, three four. Sweet. All right, got the signal. Flashing the light at him. Gotta get the start on number two. Flaps two up. Zero point five should be roughly there. Alright, after start checklist. Any ice off. Your yellow electric pumps off for the trim. Zero. After start checklist is complete. Delta 1461 with the mission key over the captain. Delta 1461. Lima's current. One way, one seven right, taxi via Hotel 3, Golf Hotel 1. Taxi, one seven right, via Hotel 3, Golf Hotel 1, Delta 1461. Oh, no, we got... Oh, no, okay. Uh, who are you? Tower. Orlando Tower, Spirit Wings 1004, Ray Taxi Information, Lima. During 1004, runway 17 right, Taxi Via, Juliet 1, Juliet, Golf Hotel 1. All right, Juliet 1, Juliet Golf Hotel 1, runway 17 right, Spirit Wings 1004. Easy enough. Alrighty, let's rock and roll. Race least. Brake check, pressure zero. The head track is just like stopping out of nowhere. It's like it's just it's dying in the sim. Oh, and it's stuck like this now. Son of a bitch. Oh, still. 
still gone. All right. All right, mini brief. Gross weights 133.9. Flaps config 2. Fuel 13. Uh, 139. V1's 138. V2's 154. Top altitude 7,000 feet. 7,000 uh, blue. And our first fix on the Buffy 3 is, or the Faith 3 is Buffy. Buffy 1461 on FDK for runway 17 right for takeoff. On FDK for takeoff. bumps through here the uneven uneven shit Retard. 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 Reaper Retard. 88 thank you so much for the subscription my friend any updates uh, to the 320 from any um yeah it's I think it's a little more stable uh, than what it used to be I've only done a couple flights in it since it's come back into the beta uh, it can definitely fly an ILS a lot better than it used to. Uh, the auto land is not the best, not the worst. Uh, it has a hard time tracking the center line. <coughs> There's a few things in the McDo that pisses me off. Uh, you can't zero out the route reserve in the, the fuel prediction page. Um, a few things of that nature. Um, but overall, it's better. The sounds could definitely use some work. Um, there's a few things that could use some work, but overall, it's a flyable airplane. Um, that's about where it ends for me. <laughs> Definitely nothing nearly as close as the Phoenix. How is this A320? Is this the beta V1? Yep, it is the beta. Um, again, a few things that are a little obnoxious, um, like for example, fuel prediction page. Uh, we can't zero out the route reserve. In fact, I changed it earlier to 0 0.1. Now it's 1461 contact center, one through five, nine or two. Got a center on? Going from 1359 to Yeah, it's got a few things that could definitely use some polishing up, but overall not bad. All right, let's go flight controls check. Full up, full down, neutral, full left, full right, neutral. We'll say we did the rudder. All right, taxi checklist, gross weight comparison is complete. Pitch trim, 25.6% CG set, V1, VRB2, flex. Uh, 38, 51, 54, no flex. Flaps config 2. Flight controls check, it can memo. Actually, I need to do a flow before. Bearing 1004. Wind 25010, runway 17 right, clear for takeoff, RNAV to Cape. We're going to need just uh, a couple minutes at the uh, hold short line. Drink 10 or 4 seconds. We're going to need just a couple minutes to finish up a few things in the cockpit before we take off. Drink 10 or 4, Roger, runway 18 right line, or 17 right line of the lane. On up weight, runway 17, right. Spit one, center four. Why does that say 18, right? Alright, uh, let's see.
All right, EKMMO, take off all green, EKM status check, Winters on auto, TCAS, code set, T-A-R-A, cabin cruise advised, mini breeze complete. Lineup check, let's take off runway 17 rights, confirmed even though it's wrong in the scenery. Fuel men required 12.9, we've got 13, uh, 7 on board. Engine mode selector, we're going to go ignition. Bleed packs are set. Oh, and the tower spirit wings 104, we are ready to go. Three 104 on FDK from the 17 right to take off. On FK from the 17 right to take off. Spirit wings 104. All right, boost them sounds up. Mantoga SRS, on first blue. State law into normal law, total shit, total, total shit. Like you're having, on rotation, you're almost full back pressure on the stick. Jack Center, Spirit Wings 1004, is at 3.37,000 RNAV Cape on the Faith 3. Frank, 10 Joe 4, Jack Center, radar contact, direct Goofy, call me 19, call level 350. Greg Boofy, level 250 Spirit Wings 104. Legion 3023, uh... Turn left heading 140 to 718, 2000, vectors, ILS approach on my 25 right. Left 140 down to 2000, vectors, for the ILS 27 right, Legion 3023. Tower was waiting on me to get off. Top set 2435, cross Lama, and I maintain 1515,000, the uh, Melbourne altimeter, stand by. Uh, the Melbourne altimeter is, I think it's on me, sorry, it's 2975. Lama 15, top of the me, sorry, don't try to find this Watch out, 1715, Atlanta Center's offline, so we can change the breeze, see ya. Watch out, 1715, Atlanta Center's offline, so we can change the breeze, see ya. Hold on, you can't watch it, 1715, see ya. Got a 962 radar contact, 45 miles southwest of the Vienna, you are following 370. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, for three off three one five, you are fourteen miles from Rennie. Turn left or crush turn right, heading two two zero to set up maintain uh one thousand six hundred to establish level five to put off approach from my two five right. Right turn to two two zero down to sixteen hundred, clear dial left two five right approach and uh, just to let you know we picked up some real good job between ten thousand and eight thousand whiskey golf to one five. Gotcha. Climb, bitch, climb! Anyways, yeah, so guys, if any of y'all are in the beta and you fly this airplane, anticipate um, rotate law. Look at this. Well, it just it was just showing they wanted, yeah, it wants managed speed. At 308 knots, but yet that's in the. Number 17, God Alpha damn it. Via contact Tampa approach 118.15. That's why. Whoops. I hit the G key on takeoff. I know for a fact I did. This airplane's funky. Um, anyways, anticipate. Rotate law going into normal law to be absolute dog shit. You're going to need a lot of back pressure on the stick to climb out. It's like the initial the initial rotation, the plane starts coming off the runway fine. And then all of a sudden, the back pressure that you're given is just not enough. Um, yeah, it's like you'll start to... It's like as it, as it transitions from rotate law into normal law... All of a sudden, you're giving back pressure, and then all of a sudden, it's like the nose won't start coming down. So you start really, like, yanking back. Uh, not at all realistic from what I know, um, which ain't much, but just caution yourselves with that. And also, you might have to hit the G key a couple times. Turn right, heading 240, to maintain right. Right 240 down to 1,600. Still established. Good dial. That's 273. AJJ, what's going on, dude? Afternoon to you as well. Hope you're doing well. Man, I'm doing good. No complaints here. We're uh, streaming today and tomorrow going to Sun and Fun. It's a good set of days off so far, anyways. Micah Messer. What's up, dude? Great to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. But yeah, V1, if you're still here, um, this is the beta. Um, it's not worth signing up for the beta to fly this airplane. Uh, I think they still have quite a bit of work to do. Um, I don't, I don't know where I can go give feedback, but <clears throat> I need to find out where so I can give my ten cents on this airplane because uh, it's got quite a bit of polish that it needs. Okay. Horrible weather in Florida? Yeah. Let's see. Let's look at the current weather radar. So here we go. This is the stuff. Obviously, weather in the sim is always a little bit behind. So this is the stuff that we just took off out of. And my house be right here. But earlier when I got up, I could hear thunder outside, and uh, which we were talking about this yesterday. That there's gonna be a lot of weather passing through. Oh, excuse me. So I wasn't surprised. Yellow. Uh, 
Uh, I wasn't surprised, but uh, I went and looked at the weather radar, and there was a tornado over uh, Tampa Airport, at least a tornado warning. Who knows if it was confirmed on the ground? And then there's also another one in Daytona. So it's like, ah, this is going to be a fun day. Good times. Thank you for the Santa. Good day. Netherlands Air Force uh, 117 descending through flight level 209. Uh, I just bought the Thrustmaster TCA pack, so I can't wait to get it, uh, get in it. But glad to hear it's getting better. I'm a budget simmer on Xbox, so no Phoenix for me. Oh, man. Well, this would be a good, um, if they're able to get this on Xbox, which I'm imagining they, they will, um, this is definitely a, a good alternative to having something, um, you know, a little bit more higher fidelity than the default Neo that comes in the sim. But yeah, you'll like that TCA pack. Uh, I went from the TCA, I used to have it for a while, then I, I went to this. Uh, but I'm a huge Airbus fan, I dispatch Airbus airplanes, so for me it was worth the money to... Um, we're speed Upgrade. Out idle. We were doing 280 knots, so just be advised. But, um, yeah, that's awesome, man. You'll enjoy it. J-Foot, what's happening, bro? Bumpy. Oh, yeah, I remember the any build sounds suck. Yes, they do. Not great. Did you mention that direct law shitty approach challenge? Uh, oh. <laughs> no, I did not. I didn't even think about it. I had a lot going on, if you couldn't tell. I was, I was starting to get behind the airplane. I mean, shit, I forgot to retract my damn landing gear at, uh, like, 12,000 feet, so. Uh, let's see. Do you like that Flight Sim throttle? I love it. Um, it is the Flight Sim PM throttle. Whoops, wrong button. Uh, it's the Flight Sim PM throttle. It's two parts, so this is the top half, this is the bottom half, and uh, I love it. It's got all the detents, like the real airplane does. Uh, you got your trim wheel. Uh, you got your engine master switches that have the lift gates. Um, you got your detents on the flaps. The only thing that it doesn't do correctly is you can't lift the spoiler lever to arm, but if you push, if you push the, the lever down. It has a button functionality, so you can toggle, you can bind um, arm spoilers to that button, and it'll arm and disarm. And then also the parking brake, it doesn't lift and rotate like the real one does, it just rotates. Um, but other than that, it's really the only two things that it's missing. Uh, but I love it. If, uh, if it broke, I'd probably buy another one. Or maybe I'd give Throttle Tech a shot. Not really sure. I think this plane target Xbox users, not PC ones. They only have the shit 320 default. Yeah. I was expecting something similar to the A310 level or even a bit better. Same. And it is, I guess, free, so like we can only, you know, expect so much. But um, I just hope this, this isn't what we can expect from um, their level of fidelity for the A350. That's the only thing that this makes me nervous about. But A350 is going to be payware, so I'm sure they'll put uh, a lot more effort into it. Thomas said, I was so lucky not to have Florida on my desk today, expect, yes, except for Pensacola. Yeah, so yesterday we flew into Pensacola and Panama City Beach, and it was nasty. <laughs> uh, where are you working yesterday? Yesterday's weather was probably a bit worse than today's. Awesome, thanks man, I'm considering it. I would highly recommend it. Uh, your two best options that I know of for Airbus throttles is going to be Flight Sim PM, which is what I have, and then the Throttle Tech, which is what V1 has. Um, I just don't know 
how they compare in size. This is, as far as I know, a, a pretty much a one for one as far as the scale. Uh, I haven't seen a throttle tech in person yet, so I don't know. If, I don't know if that was as close. Jack Center Spirit 1004. Uh, did you clear us to 250 or 350 on the altitude? Uh, 350. Roger that. We'll keep on going up. Thanks. I thought he said 35 or uh, 25. Let's climb up and climb. Jack, Delta 2435, take it. Delta 2435, I need some beer. You're off, yeah, dude. I hope you were off the past couple days. Uh, Cause the weather in the southeast has been shit. Dallas got hit like two or three days straight with thunderstorms, severe like supercell thunderstorms. Throttle text lead time is way too long. Flight sim PM has them in stock usually. Well, I tell you what, let's check. Hopefully that's not indicative though of the quality. Um, but being a, a flight sim PM user, I'm more than happy with my throttles. The only thing that you need to do is figure out how you're going to uh, mount it because you're going to need like a little table, a little, a little something to kind of get it elevated up to where you need it. I don't know if you can see this camera or not, but yeah, you can't. I, I built a little, uh, a little box and painted it the same colors and stuff. I have a little video. On um, in the videos portion of my channel, um, showing how I did mine. Um, one of the other channel viewers, it's actually a former uh, Potomac uh, controller. Uh, he did the same. He built his a little bit better than mine. Uh, that would be the only thing. It's just find like a little table or build you a little something to kind of elevate it to where you want it um, you know, next to you. Because I would say if you sit on a desk, it's going to be too high. So you just like want like a little a little something. Sit it next to you. So, let's see what Flight Sim PM's got going on. I didn't know they made a overhead. Um, yeah, so it looks like they are in stock. 320 throttle and the add on. I went with the back lip, as you can see. I think I added all this stuff to mine. I didn't want to fool with not having it. What I find interesting though, cause I think Throttle Tech does the same. Actually, maybe Throttle Tech does it. I don't know. But it's interesting how this is like elevated so high, but yet they didn't do that with the Airbus one. It's a lot. It's a lot smaller. I've thought about getting me a 7.3 throttle quadrant. This one's out. Might have to go with throttle tech. But yeah, man. Get to that flight sim PM. Yes, 
this would probably fit just fine in my little a little boxy thing that I got built. Why does it keep freezing up? How do you how do you even buy one of these things? I don't see like a purchase. You have to buy it through do one. Huh. So I guess you got a message, Roberto. Wouldn't know. Wouldn't know. Fires, what's happening, my friend? Great to see you, dude. How's the day going? Send me a photo. Then that looks like Phoenix. Obviously, it's not, but it looks like Phoenix. Flying by a little build up. And, Josh, I don't know if you noticed or not, but at the top of that build up, there's definitely some high winds. You can tell by the wisp that's on top of those clouds. It's pretty dope. Got a 2435 Roger. Spam shit. Yeah, Marco. In fact, I almost said that, knowing that you're watching. Yeah, Flight Sim PM is Italian. You could probably uh, get one pretty quick. Feshman official. Uh, what's going on, man? Great to see you. Welcome, welcome. Aha, uh -huh, my dude, Zach Hamilton. My my tornado warner. <laughs> we had uh, we had some tornadoes in Central Florida earlier. Uh, we had the, earlier whenever I first woke up, I checked. There was a tornado warning over uh, over Tampa Airport. But I checked the METAR, I didn't see any, uh, any funnel clouds. And then also there was one in uh, Daytona at the same time. Fleshman man, what's going on dude? FS man? Alright, I'll call you FS man. That's definitely a little easier. But, uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, that was that storm that we had to divert to Memphis for a few, uh, a few, for a few hours last year. Gotcha. Yeah, it looks, it definitely looks like it's a little convective. Got some energy in it. Good knowing the Charleston Air Show is a week away and might meet up with Shaq on Saturday. Hey, very nice. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to Sun and Fun tomorrow. I have a daily air show from 1 to 5, plus a whole bunch of other stuff. i got to figure out what time I'm going to get there. Uh, my guys from Jetline are going to be out there as well. They're uh, doing a verbal flight control booth. So I'm going to go out there and say what's up to them. Go look at some airplanes. Probably going to go to uh, Best Buy after the stream and go buy a gimbal for my phone and probably a, a battery pack so I can get some video footage and uh, <coughs> then next weekend we've got the Sanford Air Show so we go into that me and Crystal we'll go watch the Blue Angels F-22 demo sadly at Sun and Fun and Sanford Air Show there's no A-10 demo and A-10 is, is easily one of my favorites Nashville was getting hammered that day. 
Yeah, I can imagine. We're not too far away from Memphis. Jackson Delta. Yep, Delta 2026. Uh, the 2026 Jack Center, Skowalk 7670. Skowalk? Uh, 7670 for Delta 2026. Good question. Is that it? Are you going to say go ahead or one sec? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, is it just controller preference? On the, like, they give, I know they have the little default swap when you sign on now. Does some controllers just like doing the old fashioned way? Or... Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know. It's easier for me to say F9 type your call sign to tell you a new code. You're good, just wonder. Honestly, it's just uh, muscle memory at this point, too. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Yeah, you're good. Got a 2026 radar contact, 30 miles northwest of the, uh, correction, 20 miles north of the Columbia. Of the uh, if you get, if you get lined up with the... Uh, maintain flight level 210, 28 zone out. What's this about right there? We'll give that a shot. Uh, where are you looking? We are coming up on Oxy now. I uh, just an extra bar. I got you now. Uh, three set transponder squad three zero five seven. Three zero five seven for seven two one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Been trying to catch you live streaming. Well, sometimes that's hard to do. I get so busy with work and girlfriend and life. Sometimes me streaming in the first place is a hard thing to even do. But, uh, but nonetheless, man, you're here now. Very happy to have you. Um, let's see. I love air shows plus Dreamlifter. So big chunker. Hell yeah. Yeah, I love them too. I geek out hard. And I had mentioned something about, I mentioned to Crystal last night something about live streaming tomorrow at Sun and Fun. She thought I meant live streaming whenever her and I go to the Sanford Air Show. And she was like, no, I don't live stream. I have a lot of questions. And I was like, well, First of all, I don't want to live stream, uh, and you're asking me you questions, and then I'm, I say something wrong, because then I'm going to get corrected. <laughs> I, was like, I was telling her, I was like, you know, you don't know shit about aviation, so I can say anything, and you never know. So you check out clips? What do you mean, so you check out clips? Uh, this year is the last A10 demo team of the team year. Is there only one A10 demo team? I know there's the the demo team that's got the uh, World War II paint scheme, which, oh my God, fucking juicy. Um, I thought there was more than just one A10 demo team, but I did see it's there last year. And why though? Like, are we having to like? Are we so? Short staffed on the Air Force pilots that we've got to start cutting out demo teams. So angry at this plane. Yeah, I forgot all about the rotate law into normal law, like how shitty it is. And then I remembered it real quick on rotation <laughs> and immediately regretted flying this airplane. I'm really considering the 737 setup from Flight Sim PM when it will be available. You go for it, man. You won't regret it. You might regret the money you have to spend, but other than that, I'd love to go to Oshkosh one year. You know, what's funny? Because I've lived in, in Central Florida for the past. Um, five years or so. This is the first time I've ever gone to Sun and Fun, and I was looking at their 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 schedule of all the different things they have going on, and it's kind of it's kind of overwhelming with all the shit that there is. Um, so I can't even imagine what Oshkosh is like, which probably seven eighths of the stuff that they're doing I'm not even interested in. Um, 
it's anything from like mechanic A and P type stuff like riveting and metal work and shit like in the way that it applies to aviation to like FA medical stuff uh, all sorts of th oh, shit I'm just gonna pull it up but anyways so I don't know for some reason I've never I've never been super interested in going to Sun and Fun I've just never like I've always been more interested in just going to the, the Sanford Air Show than Sun and Fun um, but I forgot some fun was even going on this week <clears throat> until my buddy Tony at Jetline reached out to me and asked if I was going. I was like, ah, shit, I'm gonna go. I'm off, so I might as well. So we're gonna go. We're gonna see what it's like. Sun fun schedule. Uh, let's see, do you check out clips like the clips of videos and pics? Oh, like YouTube shorts and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I'll sometimes go down that rabbit hole and just mindlessly um, <coughs> scroll until I've been sitting on the toilet for 45 minutes. Over at the black ATN snake one too. Yeah. Three, three, you gotta check out that M seven hundred. The thing is sweet. Let's see. What is that? When I search M seven hundred, it takes me to a model seven hundred Remington rifle. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Piper M700 Fury Tour. I see. Yeah, I'll take a look. Looks fast as fuck. So here's the the schedule for um, Sun and Fun. Was that a duck? Sound like a duck feed call. Anyways, um, so starting at 7 a.m. Good afternoon. These are all separate events. Orlando, Sanford, looking to pick up IFR on over to Kiwa, Kilo, India, uh, Whiskey Alpha. It's a lot of shit. Stops at 9:45 p.m. 7 a.m. to 9.45 p.m. That's a lot of shit. <coughs> Power parachute, paraglider, uh, I guess some country store opens, whatever that is. Auto parking lot opens, so you can start parking at 7 a.m. Another powered paragliders, friends of Bill W., who that is, exhibitor breakfast, hospitality, da da da, like it just goes on. If a accident investigation updates, bolt on horsepower for aircraft, considerations of painting your airplane, finding the right parts for your plane, tips and tricks navigating Garmin avionics. It goes on and on and on and on and on and on. It's crazy. Like the air show. Two nine six seven, and we will descend pilot's discretion uh, to one one zero for Spirit Wings ten oh four. Eight 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 eleven thousand. Oh, what the fuck? It's got a top of drop. Uh, all the way out there. That's not. That don't work. Holy hell. Right here, flight 49, 47, roger. The wind at Myrtle Beach is uh, 15 Joe at 21, got 29, runway 18, clear land. We'll start coming down at J Ross. 
This don't make any sense. Total distance. 397 nautical miles, right? Distance left, 379 nautical miles. Not a fucking chance. It's like, a, I don't even know, I don't even know what it's doing. Talon, J. Ross. Or direct J. Ross now. It's got this stupid hold. There we go. That's what was throwing it off. Okay. That hold fucked it up. Now we got a top drop. Alright. 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 Now we're cooking with grease. Like that stupid Lanny Wilson song. Cooking cooking with grease. I hate the external sounds. I want y'all to hear it. It sounds like a it sounds like a vacuum cleaner. It is a pretty airplane though. I like the modeling. You no, know, raccoon eyes around the windscreen is just disgusting. All right, let's catch up in the chat real quick. We need to prep the airplane for landing. Ah, no, I don't. No, I don't, cause um, that stuff can like. If you're going through stuff like that, like different, at least other creators' clips and whatnot, and it's featured in yours, you can get, like, the, like, YouTube can detect that, and you'll get demonetized, um, shit like that. Like, I, in fact, it was kind of funny, a long time ago, I sent XP-72 a jump seat video, um, I was jump seating out of Bogota, and, uh, I sent it to him, and it was, he, like, showed it on his stream. Well then, several months ago, I played it on my stream, and YouTube detected that because it was played on XP stream first, that it took it as like that was his content, so it like demonetized my video because it was an XP's. Even though, I mean, there's no way YouTube could know, but that was my my footage, right? So anyways, that that kind of stuff can cause you some problems as a content creator. Alright, top hat flow real quick. Flight plan, J. Ross, fix info. Uh, we want KMYR18. Five mile range ring. Clear that out. I show you it's 117. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, Let's get our current weather. Okay. Hurdle. Weather 150 at 20 gusts and 31. 
Uh, six statue miles, light rain, mist, few at 900, scattered at 38, overcast 5,000, temperatures 20, dew point 20. Go down, motherfucker. Uh, let's see, 2966. Should be 200 and a half, I think. 200 and a half. Your prediction is unreliable because it's screwing stuff up. Now it looks like it's finally kind of fixed that reserve. Initially it had 2.5 at 15 yeah, minutes. Even though my quantity is 2.9. But it won't take the quantity. Okay, let's do yeah, that now. Secondary, we'll delete that. Erase. How is it getting further and further away from us? We're sending at 4,400 feet per minute, but yet... <coughs> Now it's finally starting to reel in. There's no way it's going to be getting that far from us. All right, let's brief it up real quick. Oh, we have no star into uh, Myrtle Beach. Um, looking at the 11-1, effective 21st of March. Planning the ILS from a 1-8. Frequency is 109.5, final approach course of 177. Let's set the glass up at Bevitt, 1600 feet. Precision height, 200 feet. Touch on elevation, 23 feet. I'm going to say around the Grand Strand, uh, VOR is 2100 feet. We're going to miss, we'll climb to 1600, climb the left turn to 3000 direct. Uh, Grand Stand and Grand Strand and hold. Transition now to 2000 feet. Glass up. Three degrees. Approach lights happy on the left. Minimal switch approach 200 for ceilings, half mile visibility. So we've got the men's visibility there. On runway 18, uh, we've got high runway lights. Approach lights happy on the left. Three, three degree glass path on the happy runways through to RVR supporting about 8,569 feet. Runway from the glass slopes 150 feet wide. We land's going to be a uh, left-hand turn off. We'll aim for Alpha 3. I'll probably suck and float, and we'll go Alpha 2. Over on the fifth agency, we'll off we go. I'll go down to Alpha 1. Um, so that said, we right state landing. Aircraft type, 320 Neo. No strike points. All right, let's push buttons. You're armed. Auto brake low, flaps full, full reverse thrust. Weather is a factor. We've got gusty winds, also low level wind shear. Uh, terrain is not a factor. We have an alternate of Colombia. Actually, a big Columbia. Columbia, South Carolina. I don't know what Carolina is in, to be honest. Um, I don't know why I wasn't included in the chart. Weather there, wind to the south, 19, gust 26, 27 miles, good ceilings, 27.19, 2950. A little windy there. Oh, nothing we can't handle. Oh, 
hog in that red line, eh? Right as we catch up. So then we get the little Yeah, so there he goes. It's gonna keep going, we're gonna level off. We'll be chasing it again. Andrew, what's going on, dude? Uh, show you this. After your comment yesterday, you are the dispatcher. Even though you no longer dispatch Airbuses anymore. Good to see, dude. Good old toilet tube. Yep. Pretty much. I'm pretty sure. Uh, we got Thunderbirds, F-35B, demo team, and a couple more. Blue 284, runway 18, left back to get Charlie. 20 left to get Charlie, it's Blue 284. Jack Center, Spirit Wings, 104, looking for lower. Check 10 0 4 3 6 0 7 8 2000, left to get Charlie, it's Blue 284. 3 6 0, and what was that to the gun? I'm sorry, I missed it. 5000. 360-2000, Vectors ILS from 18 we're just going to like probably get me a little closer before what we did is lead some altitude alright, let's go vertical speed Yeah, we don't have um, F-35, I don't think it either, probably because they're going to be up there in Charleston, sucks. Man, my captain is not happy with me, told him he would make it into Key West. Why didn't he make it into Key West? Well, it's not bad down there, is it? <laughs> can we just, uh, can you repeat that one more time for you? Yeah, sure. This is actually down there. Uh, it's that Charlie. Yeah, there's no... Charlie, there's no weather down there. Charlie, seven, Did he get a reroute that was so big he Bravo couldn't accept it? We use up all of his fuel. Got me, Charlie. Uh, back to via runway 1. And then on the Bravo, and then on the Bravo 10 for 273, 4305, got it. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the airport, fuck. Pro Dutch Gamer, wincher, wincher. Yeah, we're probably gonna get some on this, uh, on this approach. Very possible. Probably shows are the best. I don't think I've ever been to one. That's a lot of beer. A lot of beer drinking time? Absolutely.
Yeah, today's schedule, correct. Yeah, and I think the schedule is pretty much the same most days with the exception of the weekend. From what I was studying last night. Ah, robot. When are we getting the 319, 321s, or Sharklets? No clue, they haven't said. Uh, but I would like to know it myself. Just had a Boeing P-8. Poison, I don't even know. I never know how to say that damn airplane. I always said Poison, Poseidon, <laughs> overfly. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know why they're overflying that. They're uh, like a submarine detection airplane. I don't know if you got submarines out there in uh, Sioux Falls. Is there a sat dome on this model? I believe so. No, there's not. <laughs> I was wrong. I don't think I'll be able to fly on the next one. Uh, we'll get this thing done. I may. <laughs> no problem, dude. I know that life. 100%. Uh, I wish I could just fly. Here I haven't been on the same two weeks between sick kid and wife. It's been a problem. Damn. See, that's why I want to. That's why I personally want to stay away from kids. Because I'm selfish with my time. Direct PD, we'll cross PD 2000, clear for the ILS 18 for Spirit Wing is tenable. Jeff, we have 56 one. PD. I like it. At a I like how slow the boards come back down. Uh, check in life plain picks in Discord when you can. Roger that. We'll do. Probably do it on the ground. Remind me when we're on the ground. Uh, because I'll, we'll definitely forget, and I don't want to forget. So let me know again if you don't mind. Um, uh, can't tell you how many times I've been. <coughs> times I've briefed this up. Briefing what up? Uh, it's so depressing that it's right downstairs and can't get to do anything. Dude, I, I pull my hair out and I ain't got much left. You could probably land this airfield with your eyes closed, Shaq. He probably could. Oh, now I get it. Yeah, he's briefed up this approach a gajillion times because he's in flight school in Myrtle. Mine is on the same floor, very next room. I can feel the lasers burning through my head from her stare as I stand. <laughs> up to go to the other room. CAE is a big. Ah, okay. I did not know that. Me either. I don't mean P50 colors look so off to me. Yeah, I'm about the colors. Maybe it's like the font and the thickness of the lines. I don't know yet. I'm, I'm with you there. Like something definitely looks a little off. <laughs> Let's go. I routed you through all this weather. Sorry, man. It's all good. There's no way to get out of it. You know, just find the gaps, pick your way through. You gave me gas. That's all I care about. 
CAE needs payware scenery. Uh, last of the big airports in South Carolina without one. What other airports are in South Carolina? I can never keep up with what airports in North or South Carolina. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Burning quite a bit of gas being down this low. Got a 10, 61 meter contact for this, but we should on the main team, follow level 350. 7.7. And our bingo fuel, 6.0. So we got 1,700 pounds of gas to play with. Thanks, 251, Jack, center radar contact, uh, 15 northwest of Aldous, if you are level 380, to send the main team, follow level 370. Park 3, about 15 miles from the field. Welcome back, Fires. Huh. Alright, well since rotate law into normal law was such shit, I'm kind of scared to see what uh, normal law into flare mode, flare law is going to be like. What the fuck is happening with the weather? Oh my god, the ILS does an auto tune. I should have checked that in the brief. 109.5. Course heading 177. There we go. I'm the approach. On my pilot two. Go flaps one. Twelve miles out. Take it down to 180. Two eighty four radar contact turn right heading up two seven zero, climb to maintain seven thousand. Two seven zero seven thousand, left three four. Walker forty three oh five radar contact to altitude. At two thousand, right now. Walker forty three zero five direct, off three, climb to maintain five level uh, three eight zero. Direct off three, climb to three eight zero, walk three forty three oh five. Take a 2117, your 5 miles from the motor, turn left, setting 210, maintain 3,000, close to the shuttle, local, I'll just say that was the first one, right? 2107. Alright. Approach checklist. Uh, didn't do briefs complete. Approach stable by. Thousand feet AGL, you can status is checked. Okay. See what signs are on. Uh, yeah, Ford is weird. On. Uh, Minimums, uh, radio 200, set altimeters 2966. Yeah, 2964 now. Approach checklist complete. Center, 
I remember, did he clear me to land or did he just clear me for the approach? I thought he just cleared me for the approach. Left three. Clear land, runway 18, screaming snuffle. Here we go, clear to land. Flaps full. Clear to land, runway 18, screaming snuffle. Flaps full. Landing checklist. Cabin crews advised, auto thrust, speed, auto brakes, low, ECMMO, landing all green once they check one the flight attendants check out. Landing checklist complete. Airplane struggling. PS223 has the actual center on my 18 left back to be a Julia Charlie. Airport's in sight. God, it takes a lot more pressure on the stick with this airplane. 300. Any of the other Airbuses. No reversers. Good sell. Going 1004, taxi to the ramp via Alpha. We'll see you. Ramp via Alpha. We'll see you soon. Zero wings in the floor. 2117, the winner will land at 260. God, dog, man. My dog farted on a short final, and it smells like dog asshole. Go ahead and stop right here real quick. Clean up. Jack Center, good afternoon. I don't have all my bindings like I do the Phoenix. Giant eighty five thirty heavy Jack Center. Giant eighty five thirty heavy just off McDill. We're about three southeast, uh, headed north, climbing to uh, flight level three one zero. That was weird, like, radar contact, uh, 24 miles south FS Realistic <coughs> made that look a lot harder of a landing than it, the landing rate showed. It's only negative 188. All right, uh, Johnny, Cala, I and that sucker uh, jolted pretty hard. Probably just need to turn the, the movement down on FS Realistic. Ranks 251 cross from 80 at a maintained 11,000. The Tampa Alpha, but it's 2983. Sorry, we got the uh, 2983. Just say again, the LC, which is 11,000 at 80. Stay firm, 11,000. Right, there, 11,000 at 80 for sure.
Uh, 10-6-5, Spirit is coming down your back. Jacksonville approach. Hotel Papa 2399. Heading south, Daytona Beach International. Hotel Papa 2399, Jacksonville Center. Are you looking for flight falling to Daytona? Okay, 2117 crash from A1A West on a Yankee taxi to the Ram Bravo. This guy. Cross, one at left Yankee, Ram Bravo, American 2117. Jacksonville Center, Bolt here, 1067, with you at 15, climbed at 190. <coughs> Alright, that was a few at once. Uh, I think it was Bravo, Lima, Tango, 1066, on Jack Center. That's correct. Uh, BLT 1066, Voltaire 1066. Voltaire 1066, Jack Center, radar contact, 21 miles worth of the St. Petersburg VR, follow level 180, follow the maintain, follow level 240, that'll be your phone. Uh, out of uh, 19 for 240, 1066. Make it 1260 Jackson, we'll send our radar contact to this measure port of level 350. We're at 3232, actually contact Jackson, I'll approach on 124.9, take care. 449, 32 you take care too, bye. <laughs> If he's on, shut down two, one. Oh, I hate that. Just do that in flight bullshit. Ground. Give me chalks and GPU. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, welcome to Myrtle Beach. So that f the flare mode wasn't um, wasn't nearly as bad as normal law into rotate law, or um, correction, rotate law into normal law. That was terrible. We're going to see it again here on rotation. We're going to uh, leave here and we're going to head down to Fort Liquordale. Um, so we'll see how bad that. Rotate law is again. Guys, if you haven't done so already, please smash that likeity like button. Definitely helps out. Uh, helps the algorithm. Brings more folks to our community and all that good shit. We'd greatly appreciate it. Be super kind of y'all. Now, real quick, uh, parking checklist slides. Disarmed. Engines off. Seatbelts off. Exterior lights are set. Ice protection is off. Fuel pumps off. Yellow trip pumps off. Chuck signal is received. Parking brake is on. We can drop the parking brake. Since uh, we got chalks, parking checklist is complete. Okay, we'll swap that out for now. All right, <coughs> let's catch up in the chat real fast.
the Airbus Auto does everything else, but it can't tune <laughs> the ILS. No, it this Airbus won't tune the ILS. Phoenix will auto tune. Uh, fly by wire auto tunes. Uh, it's just this one that does not auto tune. So that's another thing that um, any builds needs to correct. Junk don't want it. <laughs> um, it should yes, but this one is <laughs> special. Um, is it a RA turd? What's RA? These sounds right now sound fairly real. Yeah, the internal sounds aren't as bad. So when you go to the outside sounds or the the wing view sounds, it's where it's lacking for me. Um, negative one eighty eight. Nice landing. Thank you very very much. Alpha two or alpha three? Uh, alpha to the gates. <laughs> yep. In fact, I was kind of surprised he didn't say alpha three alpha. He just said alpha to the gates. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. gotta love the dog farts, dude. It was spicy, like it was almost. I I legit shit you not thought about going around because it distracted me that much. Well, I went to grab some food, and this is what I hear. What was what you heard? Oh, the dog fart thing. <laughs> yeah, especially the dog drinks beer. You know, beer is poison for dogs or poisonous. Look at your setup. How the hell uh, do you see those side monitors? They're turned in so so tightly. Uh, cause I'm I'm just sitting in on them, and also uh, for uh, room for the stuff that's sitting beside them. Do you get any stutters? Um, with this airplane, I was. I don't usually get many stutters though. But this one kept like, it was like borderline freezing for a hot sec. Uh, so I think it's more of this airplane than it is like my sim or computer. But uh, here and there, but not not usually. Come on, dance. We love that shit. <laughs> this patch is called, uh, they said you have a different jet at a different gate. Oh, man. I don't feel like pulling my bags and having to tail swap. State reason for go around? <laughs> Dog shit themselves. Oh, we got hot brakes. Um, yeah, so oddly enough, didn't have any reverse thrust. And I, I keep getting, it's, with any builds airplanes, I have fucking problems with throttles, one way or another. Throttle settings. Reverse on axis, yes. It's like, watch, it'll even, max reverse. Like, it acknowledges it. Idle reverse. Right there. Idle. But it will not go into reverse. I do not understand. So that's another thing, is I don't... See, set thrust level to desired position, then confirm with the button above. Alright, let's, let's try it again. I've already done this once before. Begin calculation. Set reverse thrust. Okay. Idle reverse. Not right there. Okay. Idle. Okay. Climb. MCT. Toga. And it still doesn't go in reverse. Pull it down, it does. But it won't go there. Ugh, fuck this airplane. I forgot why I stopped flying it. I think the reverser is a known bug for everyone. Okay. And again, I guess give it the benefit of the doubt that it's, you know, a beta. But these are very simple things that I feel like should work out the gate. This jet has to go into D check, yeah, pretty much.
<laughs> okay, look. Let's set up the next flight. Uh, don't think I want the inland routes. I'll take the Gulf route. Or, uh, the AR route. Four flights. Hmm. What if I just want to go out? Damn it, I'm gonna have to do this myself. So let's see. So the AR route start at Wilmington, around the Wilmington area. So if we take off, go direct, maybe Clarb and Garrick, we can join AR3. Where does AR3 go? Not where we want it to go. All right, so we're going to want type this out All right, now let's pull up our charts. We got our star. There's magic. Saggy AR-19. Magic, and then from there, was it CUDA? CUDA 3. There we go.
in all honesty, in real life, we'd want to take the inland route. Because uh, it's a lot more broken up inland and we can get around it. More than likely, ATC would give us a reroute that would swing us all the way down the west coast of Florida into Lauderdale. But for weather purposes, we're going to choose... We're going to choose this one. Alright, so let's put that into... Clarb, Saggy, AR-19, Magic, CUDA-3. There we go. All right. That should work. Anything else we'll just keep the same. <coughs> oh, that's great. There it goes. Okay. Let's say you turn off the brake fans and the brake fan sound turned on. It's 2047. So I get this filed with ATC swap this out just leave our call sign and shit the same should I tell you what let's change it 1005 so that the controller knows that there's a difference we're going to avoid going through all the OFP and shit so we can get going. Pre-follow network. Flight plan, new version of flight plan form. No controller. I thought Jack Center was on. Maybe he got off. Cool, that makes life a lot easier. We can move a lot faster. And let's check uh, the in, in real life pictures. That was sent. Hell yeah. What is that? November 500 Whiskey Romeo? I believe is the tail number. Freedom 1. It's awesome. Where is this? Is this uh, Houston Hobby? It's down there last year for um, Expo.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Um, let's take this time real quick for, a, actually, I'll tell you what, girlfriend's about to call, so we'll take a break after that. So got to change planes. Can we go without reversers? Ah, yes, we can't go without reversers. Just a performance penalty. No reversers, only half breaks, no auto-tune, dog keeps shitting in the cockpit. <laughs> Everything. Oh, JFK just put out GDP. JFK is the worst when it puts out edicts. 3D realign hours. Or you mean 30? I don't know. I don't know what 3D is. Oh, three hours, I see. Three hours. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, you know. Uh, LaGuardia, JFK, and Newark all have to be synced with their flows. Alright, guys, we're gonna roll through this shit quickly. This next flight is a little bit longer. Pull it up. Pilot Isaac! Welcome to the wrong side channel, my friend. Very happy to have you. Thank you for the support. Hope you are enjoying the content. V flight plan. Alright, payload, sim brief, apply, instant. We're just gonna move super quick. Knit, knit request, AOC route uplink, flight number NKS 5 cost index, temperatures minus 54, trope 48.5, flight plan Myrtle departure 18. No SID, insert. We're going to go ILS 28 left. Not erase. We're going to go ILS 28 right, which is a far harder approach. Uh, CUDA 3. Magic transition. Approach via. I think it's carnival. Secondary, I'm not going to worry about it. Rad nav. Leave that to wind. Knit. Tab over. Okay, uh, zero fuel weight. 120.1. Play CG 28.3 Block fuel 17 0.3 Alternates I don't think I gave myself an alternate I wish you probably have one Huh what if I don't have an alternate? 
I want to get like there should be zeros here. Ah, motherfucker, dude. off only one eight wet one forty at seventeen Temperature's 20. Altimeter 2964. Takeoff weight 136. Six. On Force Toga. Yes, for the weather. Calculate. Sends most of it, but not all of it. Up 0 Why is it so fucking slow? Well, it's better if you just hold it down. Alright, let's shut everything up. that shit wants to stop. Other are you fucking kidding me, dude? I don't know if this is going to work without having a pushback. Alright, we'll see. off. Hey, there we go. Look at that hippie come. Yes, sir. You're almost 1,500 subs, man. 2,000 subs. Uh, long haul, sure. We'll definitely have a 777 by then. Because uh, it will take probably six months to get there. I don't think YouTube likes me because I cuss a lot. Alright, this is fucking horse shit.
There we go. All you gotta do is just push a different button. Like, is there bad weather in Orlando tonight? Uh, it'll be a shame for a delay to happen. I will show you. Uh, there was earlier, it's already passed through, but the issue for you is going to be getting through the weather. Although it looks relatively broken up, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah, it's breaking up a lot inland. Now, you should be fine. Unless there's some sort of... Um, Downline delays that have happened as a result of like stuff happening pre like prior to the day, where like that aircraft's line of flying has delayed because of ATC or weather, that might cause a delay. But the weather itself should be fine for you. All right, you got a good start. We'll go a single engine taxi. that trimming maybe the second uh, engine needs to be on if so that's not realistic what the fuck my engine didn't even start Why is the engine not starting? There we go, now we got it in two. That's weird. That was very weird. Hadn't seen that before. Uh, <coughs> here's today's useless information for the day. With 400 hertz, uh, airplanes require fewer generators or alternators to produce a sufficient amount of power. This reduces their total weight, thereby making it easier for airplanes to take off. If airplanes use a lower power frequency, they would require more power or more generators or alternators, thus increasing their total weight. Interesting. Oh, dude, today's show got canceled. That's not super surprising. Uh, that's pretty gnarly weather passed through earlier. Had some tornadoes, too. All right, I believe now we have a good start. And now the engine dies. What is going on? I knew that didn't look right. Something be up.
Let's try engine number two. If we don't get a good start, then I'm going to kill the stream, go to Best Buy, get some dinner. Yeah, I knew that didn't look right. We were sitting at like 30% into 4.7 N1. The N1 is what made me think that we were started. I don't know, you know, the like parameters and shit. Yeah, see right there, it just stops. It's only cranking. Uh, this is very puzzling. It's making the sound, but the engine's not actually cranking up. Stand by, guys. This is the girlfriend.
stupid thing didn't unmute. Um, okay, so we got two good engines. What I think that this might be trying to, um, what I think it's trying to simulate with those delayed starts is turning the airplane with hotter engines, kind of like the IEs, right, where you got to crank a little motor for a minute um, to cool and then start. Now, these are leap engines. Pratt & Whitney's have a button up here. Uh, it's dual engine cooling, uh, which will help that process expedite a little bit more. And these don't. So I'm wondering if that's what it's trying to simulate, <coughs> is having hotter engines from the inbound, um, and they're having to sit there and motor to cool off. Um, so, anyways. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Here's the plan. We're not going to fly this entire flight. I need to... I'm not going to have enough time to do this flight and then go to Best Buy um, and get the shit I need for tomorrow at Sun and Fun. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to move this camera. And I'm going to put it on the side stick. Because I want y'all to see how much I'm having to... Um, having to pull back on the stick. Let's do this. I don't look retarded. Whoops, that's not right. There we go. Let's do this. All right. Now y'all can see how back, how far back we'll be pulling on the side stick. Plus, you should watch like how much pulling back there so I want y'all to I'm, I'm trying to illustrate to y'all how shitty this airplane is going from rotate law into normal law um, so anyways we're going to take off we'll turn into the weather a bit we'll go fly into the weather a little bit and then once we get on top of all of it um, I'm going to stop the stream so that I can go to Best Buy and get my shit and probably get some food too I'm still I'm not okay it was muted what to say we're good now. Well, Y'all can hear me now, right? FO Pilot Depth. What's going on, dude? Great to see you, man. Uh, I even tried to do new ACC. Got banned because it had the same name. Got a Trojan virus and stole my credit card info. And they were using it for Prime like six times. Ugh. Now we can see wrong side stick. <laughs> <laughs> JJ Stevens, this 320 is so bad. Yeah, it's not great. It is not great in the least. So, all right, we got three or two good engines, not three. Boom, boom, boom. Go back through everything. I can kill this. This. So, like I said, I want to illustrate to you guys just how how bad the rotate law into the normal law is. We'll turn into the weather a bit, and then uh, I'm going to kill the stream, because I just don't have enough time to do what I need to do if we complete the stream. We're clear on the left, and we're clear on the right. Might as well go ahead and disconnect from that sim, too. All right, gross width comparisons 136.7, uh, flaps config 2, feel on board 16.7, V1s 138, V2s 154, top altitude 7,000 feet, uh, 7,000 is blue. Where's my mouse? Oh no, my mouse died. <laughs> Motherfucker. Even more reason to kill the stream. 
Damn. Give him a shit. Alright. And I don't have very much cord at all. I don't know why the airplane stopped, but whatever. What's uh one eight? We'll go. We're gonna have to depart on heading. One seventy seven is actually runway heading. Um, cool. Might as well get everything else while we're stopped. I'm flying right over MCO to Miami. Nice. We just took off out of MCO about an hour and a half ago. Picked our way through the weather-ish. Didn't really do a lot of picking. Just kind of used the weather radar and flew through the red. But uh, how's the weather where you're at, JJ? Have a GoPro X Super Light, but that's because I play Fortnite. Or G Pro X. Is that, uh, is that a mouse? Other Logitech has that one wireless mouse and get giant mouse pad that wirelessly charges it. Mm. I've got my cable, I just haven't plugged my mouse in in a little while. Really hope they don't booger up the three dude, I had the same exact thought. That's my fear is that this reflecting what we can expect for the three fifty. And if that's the case, yuck. So I'm sure it's a lot easier to get uh, A300 systems versus the complexity of these systems. Alrighty then. Let's see if I can illustrate this to y'all. Uh, Sim, it's clear and sunny. What uh, what altitude are you at? We took off out of uh, Orlando. It was it was gross. Um, and we took off in the Sim. Yeah, we took off like right as the line of weather was was passing through Orlando. All right, folks, let's give it a shot. See if I can't to try to make this a little. Ooh, that's a lot. I want y'all to see this even more. <coughs> All right, so my typical back pressure, like in the Phoenix, is going to be about. Maybe about that much. Somewhere around there. And this airplane is going to be like all the way back. So this is all the way back. That's probably about what it takes in the Phoenix. So, let's see.
Hey, nuts. Neutral by 100. V1. Rotity. Pull up. Everything's fine. It's fine. Good. And then, like, the nose really starts trying to pull down. After that, it's fine. That one was a lot better. It still wasn't perfect. It was a little harder to tell too, since I was like couldn't see as much of the, the ground. Uh, that was a little bit better than the first one, the first rotation out of uh, Orlando. Why is it drawing such a giant fucking turn? This is a giant turn. It's like 15 mile wide turn. Full get that shit out of here. There we go. Home store. Yeah, so adding the trim, possibly, I could see that. Um, I mean, that's the thing though. Is like, if, it, if it's telling me to trim up 0 0.5, I shouldn't have to trim up 1.5, you know. But it might be a workaround until we polish this thing up. Hey, Abusa! Thanks so much for the subscription, my friend. Welcome to the Wrong Side channel. Hope you're enjoying the content. Let's say ATC is super nice today and they're like, hey, uh, the military airspace to the east is closed or it's cold. Clear direct saggy. Direct saggy, you spare wings head over. Let's say, oh no, I 
Uh, oh, maybe it won't ding since we're airborne. We just lost engine number two. Oh no! All right, let's level off. Yeah, it's not gonna give a engine failure ecam shit. All right, let's set up flight plan. No, let's go secondary and knit. Thirty at sixteen. Um, twenty one. Two nine six three. All right, engine two shut down. Engine start. Select ignition. Da da da. Can't do any of that. I'm gonna pretend like it's shut down. <laughs> status page normal. I don't think so. Alright, so let's head back. Let's go secondary flight plan. Activate secondary. Cool. Direct PD. Thirty six miles, thirteen thousand feet. No, fool. Oh, I don't know why it keeps it's doing that because we still have thirty eight in there. All right, guys, we're going to head back to Myrtle, drop the rat out. I uh, don't need to drop the rat out because we still got... But you know what, though? That's a good point to bring up. We lost one generator. We're on one generator now. Let's start the APU just as a backup in case we lost engine one. still have uh, electric and pneumatic. Electric and some pneumatic.
Rotor trim's working. That's what we want to see. Right, but if they didn't do it <coughs> right, that would definitely help take off. Yeah, 100%. Squawk 7700, mayday, mayday, mayday. Uh, I think it'd be more like a pan, pan, pan. <coughs> than a mayday. Maybe, I don't know. This depends on the situation. Alright, if you use available. Alright, so the winds are 130. So it's going to be a quartering headwind. That's going to make this a little more challenging. Come on, we gotta drop the rat. Mm, I mean, I'm sure the airplane doesn't do it in the first place. Um, yeah, can't even click on these. have no reversers yeah that'd be fine though pan pan is disruptive passenger or threat right now pan pan's like we have an emergency but not like about to die whereas mayday mayday is like oh shit we might die it just kind of conveys the severity of the of the issue Wife must have known I wanted to fly. She took, uh, she took with with her. I guess the like kid with her, and finally getting a quick flight in, uh, not to figure out where and to. Yeah, that's always the hardest part. I mean, that was the issue I had today. It's like, man, where are we? Where am I going to stream today? Where are we going to fly? Yeah, I mean, Pan Pan still can be an emergency. It all depends on if uh, pilots want to declare it or not. But it's definitely like priority handling and all that shit. Pan Pan equals urgency. Mayday equals emergency. Or pan urgency. Emergency. Gotcha. Okay. I would trust Kieran on that. He is a pilot. There's been plenty of times I have seen or heard on audio where they, they call out Pan Pan, but then they elect to declare an emergency. If anything, Pan Pan will get the controllers. Um, they'll get the, the controllers' attention. Now, you can have a mayday when it comes to fuel. Um, if you're going to be landing in reserve, like within reserve, you could consider that a pan pan. Um, in that in that sense, you request priority handling from ATC, and you can't accept any uh, 
you know, undue delay. But if you're going to be landing within 30 minutes, that is emergency fuel. And these are FARs that we're talking about, too. Um, so you can, you can absolutely call out Mayday if you're going to be landing uh, within or less than 30 minutes of fuel. Probably have it in this screenshot. Thought I had it. Where did I have that shit? Anyways, it's in my recurrent training. Life threatening emergencies, pan pan calls uh, are used for urgent situations that are not life threatening, such as your pleasure craft is broken. There we go. It's kind of like kind of what I was talking about, right? Like, oh shit, we got an issue, but not like we're not about to die. Whereas other ones like, yeah, we we might die. Right, guys for just joining us we are on one engine making an air return back to Myrtle Beach because I don't have time to finish the stream got some other shit I'm gonna do Porter my man finally made it home and nap time hell yeah dude fucking love nap time Ah, the, the scrolling directions are like inverted from Phoenix. Look, star. Uh, wins two zero two at forty six.
What's up, Star? Miss Prooch, 3000 set. Go flaps three. Airport's in sight. Ah, oh, rain's gone, gone. Gear down. Man of speed. On spoilers. One thousand. Ding the dingalings. Flaps full. All right. God help us all. Look at that rotor trim working. Something on the runway. We got random trees on the runway. Oh shit. Now the zoom won't go away. Fuck, I out of here, you motherfucker. 400. Dude, what in the fucking Christ? There we go. 300. Why am I getting random random trees though? Flight slow. Flight slow. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Five. Easy peasy. Nah, I just got a clap from FS Realistic. But why are there trees in the middle of the runway? Nice landing, sir. I appreciate it. I kind of figured if I let the aircraft get get established and stable kind of let the rudder uh, let the autopilot work that rudder trim and let everything kind of stabilize that way then it would be less work for me trying to trim that rudder out and then last 50 feet or so cut the power reset rudder trim zero as the powers um, coming down to idle I don't know if this is like the official way or anything it's just what makes sense to me and it all seemed to work out pretty good all right, spin her up.
Which one's the... Okay. Let's see. That's Microsoft. That shit's been happening to me a lot lately. Where Microsoft, like, puts shit in a gate. And I confuse it for my GSX gate. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> that was a fun, different way to end the stream. I do hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, sorry, not gonna be able to or didn't, you know, fly this one all the way through. Um, like I said, I need to go to Best Buy. I need to buy a gimbal for my phone um, and get a battery pack as well, so I can do some uh, try to video some sun and fun tomorrow. Um, but as always guys, I want to thank every one of y'all for coming and hanging out. Uh, maybe we'll get a stream in late tonight. Um, if not tonight, maybe tomorrow night. Uh, then I'll go back to work on Saturday. Working Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Um, so, everybody, thank y'all for coming to hang out. Greatly appreciate every one of y'all. Thank you to all the new subscribers who uh, came and joined the channel today. Let's see if I can see who that is. Uh, Hayabusa Hatch, Pilot Isaac, Reaper88. Uh, Captain Jack Flight Sim and Southwest 711. Uh, thank you guys so much for subscribing. And everybody, if you haven't done so already, please smash that likeity like button. Definitely helps out. And uh, I would say that on this airplane, it's not worth joining the beta for. Um, it definitely needs a lot of polishing up on some of the systems. Uh, anybody who's a big-time Airbus person like myself will get quite annoyed with some of the uh, some of the, the things that are going on in this airplane. Um, but guys, hope y'all have a great rest of your night. Stay safe, and as always, be good or be good at it. Keep it on the wrong side, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.